When you haven't seen someone in a long time, a little lunch can go a long way. I'll do the, uh, the Italian beef. It's a chance to catch up. So did you do any 14ers this summer then? Uh, yeah, I've done a couple. And talk about what you've been through. Uh, I broke the C7 of my neck, uh, broke the nose, eye orbital, the uh, base of the skull, and then an open skull fracture here. Brandon Simmons has been through a lot. We started hiking at around 6 o'clock, and we had a, a beautiful morning. It was almost a year ago to the day, January 26, 2014. It was a windy, cold day, but it blew skies, so it was a, ended up being a great hike. Brandon and friends were climbing Mount Princeton. The day itself provided us a wonderful summit. The way up was fine. The way down was the problem. Um, around the corner from what we couldn't see from the summit was that there was a big snowfield uh, coming down the side that we had to cross. Another friend went first and made it across the field. Brandon went second. I stopped and rested and then started again. And that was about 30 seconds before I fell. I mean, I pretty much was just glued to watching him slide down. It was a massive fall. Somewhere between 400 and 700. He's talking feet. 911, where's your emergency? Krista was able to get cell service. I am up on Mount Princeton. Enough to call 911. Okay. He went, slid all the way down to the bottom, hit the rocks, and went end over end multiple times. And while she was on the phone, Do you know if he's conscious? she couldn't believe her eyes. I see him moving down there. Yeah. Chafee County he's Search and Rescue North responded and began the complex you know, rescue. He was somewhat in and out of consciousness. It took about two hours for Hans Albrecht's team to get Brandon off the mountain and onto a helicopter. Other than his accident, everything went right for him that day. We had all the right team members. The helicopter could get up there. It was the right time of day. The next thing I remember is three days later. He woke up in the ICU, badly hurt, but alive and his thoughts turned quickly to the rescuers who helped get him there. The sense of appreciation was earth shattering. A year later, it is a donation of $700 for my family. That sense of appreciation is even stronger. Thank you guys. From the bottom of my heart, that beats today only because of what you guys did. So Brandon took a few people he hadn't seen in a while out much. to lunch. You let me know that you were not feeling so hot. <laughs> a bond formed above 13,000 feet. Brandon, it's good to see you kicking. <laughs> An unlikely friendship for the guy who thought he'd never need rescue. It's good to still be kicking. <laughs> in Buena Vista with photojournalist Pete Bird, Steve Staker, 9 News.